What's up, y'all? Sean of the Shred. I ended up getting a new replacement emblem for the ML because my um, current one is cracked and has a bunch of the chrome peeling off in this general vicinity, as you will see in this photo. Found this online, uh, this replacement, and it is... Um, just a basic emblem with the two little protruding nubs or nipples that stick out of the back. And um, so I'm assuming that I'm going to have to go ahead and put some uh, 3M adhesive on the back of it. And then go ahead and stick it on. But um, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull the one off of the Mercedes and uh, see how it's on there first. So I can get a general idea. I don't know if they just use a little bit of 3M or if there's none on there and it just pushes in and these little nipples go through like some kind of teeth that grip them and hold on. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'm uh, going to find that out and uh, replace this emblem. What's up, y'all? All right, so I need to change out the front emblem on my hood. Missing chrome. And... Uh, just generally looks bad, so. I swear that thing was in the shade a minute ago. So, looking at the bottom side, I definitely don't have the access hole that uh, some people have. Um, and in looking, it sounded like this one just had the two prongs from the research that I did, so. That being the case, it should just pop right off there. Okay, so back out here, I went inside, I sharpened this guy down to a little bit better point because, well, it's hard to tell, but it is super cheap, crappy plastic. Uh, it's, this is actually a tiny little tool I got to open up my uh, Xbox controller when I changed out the thumbsticks, uh, but I went ahead and sharpened it up a little bit. Still doesn't work real well, so I'm going to stick a fingernail under there. Okay, so once I went ahead and kind of got the fingernail under there and wedged this under there, able to get it in there and basically just worked my way around here, popping it up. All right, there we go. So as you can see, there's no tape or anything on there. It's just held in by friction with these little rubber grommets. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out real quick, clean it off real well, and uh, we'll go ahead and get the replacement on. Okay, so got it all nice and cleaned off. Took the little grommets out because the uh, one I've got has what looks like little flares on the uh, legs. So I'm wondering if maybe it'll just fall in there. One thing I already see that I don't like though is that these pins are off center, which makes me believe that the second I drop it in there, it's going to be crooked. Yep. Sure is. Fucking emblem is crooked fucking eBay. All right, well, time to fix that. Okay, so back in the house now under the AC, and you can clearly see the pins on the Mercedes one go directly through the top of the star. The pin on this one does not. It's offset, which that causes the emblem to be offset when you install it. It looks absolutely terrible. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so, quick update on my emblem situation. This is the old one, this is the new one. I uh, took that one out, and, uh, the old one comes out. It's got grommets. It's got the two pins on the bottom. The pins are lined up. You can see the top one goes directly through the top Mercedes star bar. And when it sits on there, it's dead centered within that indentation, as you can see from the shadow that creates around it so this new one when I got it thought it would line up well but first problem you can see is that that top pin does not go in that bar so additionally the nubs that come out of the back or the pins that come out are fat at the bottom skinny at the top so you cannot use the grommet because if you put the grommets on this guy the grommets don't push all the way down onto the pins. And if you do push them all the way up to the pins, 
then the emblem does not sit flush whenever you pop it in there. But regardless of whether or not it sits flush, that arm on the back not being in the right spot causes it to sit off center. So now you've got a crooked emblem that goes on the top and as you can see it does not sit center in that indentation. There's a very small section over here and a very large section over here. So now it's also cocked this way towards the passenger side. Um, I reached out to the seller like a week ago because uh, the description on this had it sitting on top of a barcode with a Mercedes emblem, said it was direct replacement. If you do buy one, you don't buy this one or buy one that's going to be crooked from that dude so he can keep profiting. Um, he could do what's right and fix it, but uh, he's choosing to ignore me. So I give him uh, a couple more days, and if I don't hear back, then I'll modify this one. Uh, probably just cut the pins off, put some double-sided tape on there, stick it on there in the center where it's supposed to be, and call it a day. All right, so the seller never messaged me back about this thing being crooked. I sent the seller uh, pictures of it um, online to let them know that it was off and see if they would uh, rectify with sending me a replacement that had the pins in the right spot, but um, just never responded to the message. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the pins off, modify this so I can get it on my car, um, and I will post the link to the seller uh, probably in the description so that way you'll know which one I bought and you can avoid buying it so that way you don't have to go through the same thing. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the pins off. Um, it's not pretty, but that's the back side, and you're not going to see it, so it really shouldn't matter. Uh, but you can see on these pins how they go. They're tapered. These are the little grommets that they're supposed to go into in the hoods. So um, with these pins, if you try to utilize the grommets, they don't go all the way down. The grommet stops, like, right there. So with the design that it came with, these pins are no good because the grommets don't hold it in place securely. Um, it sticks up off the hood, creates a gap, it looks ugly and terrible. And if you take the grommets out, then the pin is loose in the hood and it just flops around. So um, again, not a direct fit. This was uh, not a honest description of this emblem when I bought it at all. Uh, it was described as a OEM direct replacement um, the seller even went as far as showing a picture of this on top of a blue and white uh, Mercedes box with a barcode to make it seem like you were getting a genuine Mercedes part or um, you know something that was at least um, possibly from a Mercedes house and uh, that is not the case it actually looks from the back of it from the material on there, it kind of looks like it's 3D printed, so um, I don't know why they couldn't print the pins in the right spot, but <clears throat> that's my solution. I just decided to go ahead and do some cuts of uh, the 3M tape. I'm going to do uh, another little one on the back side, but um, just cutting a little piece and basically putting it right up against the edge and then uh, using my fingernail to run around it and kind of, you know, indicate where that lip is and then that way I can cut it just under the lip and then that way it'll sit um, flush but still be you know mounted on there securely um, like I said I think I'm gonna put one more across the top as well uh, just so that way I've got a you know a little bit of a triangle on there and the bottom will be opening a little bit in case you know like dirt and shit gets in there it can hopefully drain out a little bit easier um, but yeah, not fully covering the top, but maybe just another small piece and then I'm just gonna put it on that way And if I need to take it off later, then um, I'll deal with the Removing the glue and the tape at that point Okay, so there got the other third piece on again left uh, some little gaps up top and then uh, one on the bottom So that way, you know uh, water dirt whatever can drain down and out if needed um, rather than it all trapping so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these excess pieces off now. So I've just got the three little small pieces. And then that way, if I do have to take it off, it's easier and um, isn't like a full entire flat piece. But you can buy this emblem on eBay with the full entire adhesive backing. I just didn't do that because I knew that mine took the two pins, 
had I known that it was going to be crooked, um, then I would have bought the one with the adhesive and saved myself all this trouble. <laughs> oh, well. Live and learn, right? What can you do? Okay, so once I went ahead and cut off the excess edges, it just leaves me with that little bit. And again, with the uh, tape on there the way that it is, um, when I stick it on, it should be flush and nothing should stick up or, you know, anything like that. So um, that's my solution, and uh, hopefully that works. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> Since it's got adhesive now, I gotta clean it real well. So, get that nice and cleaned. Put some rubbing alcohol on this corner. Alright. Alright, and now, making sure I stick it on there straight. And centered. All right, so I got the flat black emblem on. Went ahead and stuck it down on there. Uh, sits nice and flat, as you can see there. And uh, yeah. Leave it centered in the center of that and uh, pointing straight. So, looks good. Definitely looks better than the old chipped chrome one. So, hardly noticeable. I like it. <laughs> 